I want to say just a word about Gateway Park now because you will recall we went down to Gateway Park in the old Lincoln Square area and made an investment in a brownfield property in which we constructed the new WPI Life Science and Bioengineering Center that opened now two years ago. I'm pleased to report that facility has been a great success. The faculty that work in there seem very pleased with the facilities. They're very productive. We have not only our life science and bioengineering faculty in that facility, there is a life science incubator. There is a new home for the corporate and professional education division. <clears throat> and there are a couple of life science companies that have been incubated in that neighborhood that needed space in which to expand which we could provide for a while because we had provided for expansion space for our academic programs. Well, the faculty have been so productive and the faculty hiring has gone so well that we need now to kick those companies out so we can fill that space with academic activity by WPI. And those, those, those companies are ready to grow. So we are at the point of declaring victory on building one and preparing to begin constructing building two at Gateway Park. So that will be announced very shortly. It will house those companies companies coming out of our uh, building. It will house an expanded incubator from the MBI. Uh, it will uh, house some other WPI activity, including an expansion of the corporate and professional education program that I just mentioned, which will be expanding its training into bioprocessing, which requires a bioprocessing plant to do the training properly. Uh, but that's a great need in the Massachusetts life science industry. So there's a business plan for the next building. We have a developer picked out. We don't want to be in the building construction and ownership business anymore. What we intend to do with the rest of those park parcels is give ground leases to developers who will come in and build the buildings, take the risk, do the leasing to the tenants, and at the end of the long-term lease, both the ground and the building redound back to WPI. So I think it's a very sensible plan. It'll create a very important new neighborhood at the north end of Worcester. It's a terrific commitment and contribution to the city, but it's also a very important expansion of WPI's campus because uh, as with every building we have opened, once it was open and under operation, all the anxiety sort of melted away and people could see what the opportunity is and I think you'll con continue to see more of that. So the development of the campus is a very important part of the success of WPI and I think we are making very good progress there. Uh, I want to pause for a moment and just be a little bit less explicit about particulars on the financial side or the physical plant side and just reflect a little bit on my personal experience over the last few weeks because I've been so impressed as I am periodically by the quality of the community at WPI, the students and the faculty and just some of the things that I hear in the course of a day's activity. Kathy and I recently attended the Ramadan dinner at the invitation of our Muslim students held in this room, nice room full of quite a few students. Provost Ora was at our table and we had a lovely conversation with some of our Muslim student leaders. I asked them, what do you like best about WPI? Why are you here? And they said, because it's such an open, welcoming environment. We feel at home here. We feel welcome and accepted here. We can be who we are. There are not social pressures to conform to any kind of behavior. We pray five times a day. That's OK. There are students that we know who are not religious. That's OK. We really feel that this is a community that is welcoming and supporting, supportive of us. They also said this is a place with terrific opportunities for leadership. As students, it isn't the same small group of people that are running all the student organizations. There's a great variety of organizations. You can find a group to belong to. You can start a new group if you want. The administration and the student affairs office is fully supportive of this. And we really like the chance that we can develop our leadership skills as well as our academic uh, development. I think that's a great report card on WPI, and I was very pleased uh, to be able to hear that. Recently, I was a, a meeting of the MBI, that's the Massachusetts Biomedical Initiative, the life science group here in town, uh, and I want to comment on two things that happened at that meeting. One is there was a presentation from a startup company that has been associated with the MBI. The young lady who was speaking about ligament repair 
and regenerative medical issues was articulate and impressive and she was a 2009 PhD graduate of WPI now working for a startup company and just doing a marvelous job of explaining the opportunities in that field. The other thing that was said was by the president of the Massachusetts Life Science Center who was the guest speaker at that meeting and one of the things she pointed out was the Massachusetts Life Science Center for the first time this past summer had a program of summer internships by which they received uh, by which they awarded money not directly to college students to be interns but to companies to hire summer interns. So it was the companies that did the hiring and it was WPI that had the largest number of students in Massachusetts hired by life science companies to work as summer interns. So again, attestation to the quality of the graduate that's produced by this institution. I chatted with a parent on campus recently in Parents Weekend, and what the mother said to me was, I am so impressed with this campus because the students I encounter at WPI look you right in the eye, they smile, they say hello, they open a door for you. There's a quality of civility on this campus that you don't normally experience. And again, I think that's a terrific uh, testimony uh, to what we have at WPI. And finally, uh, last Saturday night, as we were leaving the, the fabulous musical production of South Pacific that was done by our students, uh, one of the parents took me aside and said, I just don't understand it. You know, the term is only about four weeks old, and here they have put on this marvelous production with a terrific orchestra, with great singing and great acting, and really intricate choreography. It was a very professional production and great testimony to the artistic interests and abilities of our students, be they engineers or mathematicians, uh, you call it. Uh, so I just offer those observations to you as reassurance of the unusual quality and character of this institution. And as we celebrate it in these kind of events, uh, those kind of things, I think, are worth telling uh, and worth appreciating. Finally, I note that we are approaching the 40th anniversary of the WPI plan. So in our public relations and in our work to communicate, we will be celebrating uh, that uh, that landmark achievement that I think is uh, something that the world still needs to know a lot more about and certainly is the key to our success.